Welcome to day five. This is the uh, guest house. We stayed in last night, guest house of the Monastir, which is over there, the big old building behind all those trees, which is really cool. Um, I was the only pilgrim here last night. They probably only get one to two pilgrims a week on this route, I was told. But that's because it's a very minor route, they said. And the monastery itself isn't very full right now. I think they don't have more than a dozen nuns here at the moment. But she said they do get groups coming in, school groups and stuff. I guess they have room to sleep quite a few people. But it is a really neat old place. I didn't really get a chance to go explore it last night. I've been sleeping longer and leaving about the same time. It's about 8.34 a.m. But yeah, just a neat old place. Anyway, we're off to, I forget the name again, because I'm not going to a major city again. I'm stopping outside the major city just like I did this time. So we'll walk through Fanjo, see what's there, and head off to a pilgrim's hostel this time in, I remember, Rumanguks. Not too far from the monastery. We're walking along this sort of minor road, except again, filled with traffic. So I think it's the most direct way to Fanjo. There's a road down there that twists and winds and curves and goes to Fanjo up the hill over there. But this one goes straight up the hill. I believe that's Fanjo. So it's the shortest distance between two points. So we're French. We take the short distance and drive really fast. So we're coming up here on the entrance to Fanjo. It's only been about four kilometers, but most of it's been uphill, three kilometers of it has. And of course, as I was taking my sunglasses off to do this video, they just broke in my hands as I was pulling them off my head. I didn't drop them. Well, I mean, I dropped them after they broke, but here come some cars going across the street. So anybody out there that has USC Shady Peep sunglasses, or whatever they're calling them now, be careful putting them on and taking them off. They just break whenever they want to. Way to go, USC, for choosing the cheapest vendor to provide USC sunglasses. My guess is they were made in China. No offense to uh, all the Chinese people I know and love. Second Camino Way marker of the trip, first of the day, is pointing us on the GR7 to Mirepoix. We're not going to stop in Mirepoix. We were stopping a little bit before Mirepoix, or Rumen Gooks, where there's a pilgrim's hostel. I think I said all that already. But we're on the grass now, wet grass. Luckily, our shoes are waterproof, but depends on how deep this wet grass gets. Skies are looking gloomy today. It was a little sunny when we started. We even put on sunscreen. That didn't last long, maybe about 10 minutes. Just wanna show you the view. You can see the mountains in the background. See a little town right in the middle there. Not sure we're going that direction. Well, I mean, right now we're not. We're still walking in this grass. It's not tall. Well, sometimes it's been tall. I mean, my feet are wet, but not my feet, my shoes. So far the waterproofing is holding for today, but only because it's not raining. Still gloomy. We've been up high all day. I know it's a little windy. Hopefully you're not hearing the wind. But I thank God that the rain hasn't started yet. So this is the little town of Hanu or Hanuks. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. This is the square. That was the church. And we're headed off in that direction. I have to take a little break. But over here, I saw a pretty cool little way mark. So I wanted to show you that one. Yeah. Right there. I like that. I'm sure everyone with you has seen one of these before. You know, that's a toilet tank. That's the, the flusher handle. But uh, I haven't expected to see one of these in rural France. I mean, in rural China maybe, but not rural France. Good thing I don't have to do number two. But it's got a heck of a flusher. Check this out. Right, the whole thing. Even my feet. Sorry for the sudden stop in videos. Not that you would know. But uh, yeah, for the last hour, it rained. And it rained well. I mean, my feet were soaked within the hour. But thank goodness, we made it to the heat. And this place is awesome. I mean, it's it's huge. Got a fireplace. I don't know if I can make a fire or not. He didn't say. Um, close the door. But yeah, very, very nice in this really small town of nowhere called Romangu. Two bedrooms. Pretty much get to choose my bed. There's one, two, three, four behind that door. Five, six, seven, eight. Very new. Very nice. And yeah. 
time to take a shower, get cleaned, and have a beer because I have beer in the fridge. Woohoo! Any more words of Sean Jenkins? <sighs> Believe it or not, that's actually my first Camino Cerveza. And it only cost one euro, so that's a good one. Um, that's Loctite for plastic, and I'm going to attempt to repair these again. I repaired them as soon as I bought it from the store, and uh, ooh, you can't even see the scratches. But trust me, it scratched. But if you look at the repair, yeah, it didn't last more than, oh, I don't know, an hour. But uh, yep, we're going to attempt to repair the sunglasses.